For the last year or two, I've been looking at the differences between Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve, weighing up the pros and the cons, but not really being very decisive. Well, in the last couple of weeks, my decision was kind of made for me by my Hackintosh pretty much dying. Now, my Hackintosh has always had a couple of issues, or at least it has since upgrading it to OS X uh, El Captino or Yosemite, one of the new versions. One of the bugs it's had for a while is that if the computer goes to sleep, everything crashes and I have to restart the computer again. Now that, whilst not ideal, I can deal with. I can set my Hackintosh to only go to sleep every three hours or so, and if it does happen to crash, well, it's not the end of the world if I haven't been using it for three hours. But then things started to evolve, and the Hackintosh would crash if the displays went to sleep. So if I had a break, I'd come back and everything would have broken and I'd have to restart the computer, turn it back on again. And then it started becoming more and more unstable for all sorts of things, not just video editing. So I decided to switch over to my Windows desktop and use DaVinci Resolve. And now my Hackintosh doesn't really turn on anymore, so there is no going back. Now I do still want a Mac, no more Hackintoshes though, a genuine Mac, but for now I am using Windows and DaVinci Resolve. I could have looked at Premiere, but I don't like Premiere, so I didn't. So, in the last couple of weeks, what have been my first initial experiences? Well, to start off with, the main two were the user interface and the way the timeline works. The user interface in DaVinci Resolve is good, but it's not as easy to use or as intuitive as the one in Final Cut Pro, and the magnetic timeline versus the more traditional track-based timeline is a very big jump. I'm starting to get more used to the track way of editing and getting faster and I'm not making as many mistakes. But even then, I think I still prefer the magnetic timeline method in Final Cut Pro, at least for most of the projects that I edit. But I can live without it for some of DaVinci Resolve's other benefits, the main one being the color tools. This isn't the first time I've used DaVinci Resolve. I've actually been using it for several years on and off. What I would do is I would export my video from iMovie and then later on from Final Cut Pro, bring it into DaVinci Resolve, I'd color grade it, then I'd export it back, make any final changes and then upload the final video to YouTube or to wherever else it was going to go. And then when 10.4 update happened for Final Cut Pro, I started color grading everything in Final Cut which did make the editing process a bit faster, but I forgot how much I missed DaVinci Resolve's color grading tools. Having the qualifier, the power windows, all of the ways of fine tuning your image. Final Cut Pro has a lot of functionality now, but it's just not the same as DaVinci Resolve. After all, DaVinci Resolve is the main color grading program used for the majority of Hollywood films. I was also inspired by DaVinci Resolve 15's inclusion of Fairlight. I've now started to learn more audio processing with compressors and limiters, in the past, I'd just boost the volume and call it a day, but now I'm trying to fine-tune my audio work. Maybe that's why I'm now using a boom microphone rather than just having my on-camera road mic, which I used to do. It's definitely helped me realize how important audio is in the filmmaking process even just for YouTube videos. I've recorded a few live events recently, some stage performances, some conferences, and I found that having a compressor and a limiter has allowed me to make some of the quieter parts of the dialogue far easier to hear, which I would have been a bit stuck with before with Final Cut Pro and my limited knowledge of audio processing. Now, besides the timeline, there is one other main downside that I'm having to deal with, and that is render times. It's really not that much slower than exporting from Final Cut Pro to compressor than rendering out in compressor, but in terms of rendering in Final Cut Pro, because of the background rendering, DaVinci Resolve is noticeably slower. And what makes it even worse is DaVinci Resolve, when you're rendering, that's it. Your computer is rendering, you can't edit at the same time. Whereas with Final Cut, I could edit in the background whilst I was rendering either from the app itself or from compressor. So I'm having to think a lot more carefully about when I want to render and trying to render and then have a break. And if I have a really long project that takes an hour to render, then I need to do that when I'm having lunch. I can also report that after a few weeks of using Windows, I still don't like it. I still prefer Mac OS and I still definitely want a Mac. Windows isn't that bad. I am getting more used to it, but it just doesn't quite work the way I like to work with Mac OS X. Personal preferences, although it is nice having the ability to install more programs, in particular games. If I'm using Windows, I can play Star Wars The Old Republic except I can't because I'm now too busy editing, rendering, and doing all the other productive things I have to do, but I don't have time. Maybe if I'm less busy, 
actually I'd rather do something useful outside. But Star Wars The Old Republic is a very good game. I did enjoy playing that a few years ago when I was a bit less busy. And I feel like we're starting to go off track a little bit here. One of the other things which is very nice about DaVinci Resolve is Fusion is now directly integrated in version 15, which is pretty cool and uh, pretty impressive. But unfortunately, I haven't had enough time to play around with it and learn how it works. I would like to do this in the future, but I'm just quite busy with a lot of other projects right now. And I'm pretty comfortable using Blender, which is better for 3D work and it can do VFX too. I'm definitely not as fast at editing in DaVinci Resolve as I am in Final Cut Pro, even considering the color grading workflow in Resolve is much faster, just the timeline and the way the program works, I'm not used to it and I'm not sure it's quite as fast in general as Final Cut Pro, but I've only been using it as my main NLE for a couple of weeks, so with some more practice and learning more of the functionality, I reckon I can get a lot closer to the speed of Final Cut Pro. And that's mostly for YouTube videos and smaller projects. For bigger projects, I almost wonder if DaVinci Resolve might be faster because it seems like it is designed for large scale projects. I'm certainly not suggesting that DaVinci Resolve is aimed at YouTubers, but because what I do is YouTubing, filmmaking, short films, production company, promo video type stuff, it's nice to have a program that can do everything. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribe so as not to miss any new videos. See you later.